Hi guys, welcome to day three of Vegan Month of Cheese. So what does French bread have to do with it? Well, if you're going to put all that effort into making amazing cultured cheese, you'd better have some damn good bread to put it on. And this is damn good bread. The perfect crusty French bread starts with the basics. Yeast, water, flour, and salt. In that order. You want one cup of warm water. I always test it with my finger, but if you want to be more exact, 105 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius will do. A bit over or under is all right as well. Mix that with two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast and let it sit for a few minutes. You'll notice the yeast blooming and that's how you know it's good. Add a half cup of flour, mix that in and a teaspoon of salt. After the flour is fully mixed in, dump in two more cups of flour. Now you can get your handy dandy chopsticks and stir that all together until it gets clumpy like this. You don't have to use chopsticks, I just use them for everything. Now make sure your hands are clean before you get them messy. Squeeze the dough bitsies together and knead it into a ball. It might be kind of stiff, but don't worry. We'll cover it and let that rest for a good 15 minutes or so. That lets the gluten relax and it will be easier for us to knead. So go ahead and knead that on a lightly floured surface. You may have to sprinkle some flour here or there, but try not to add too much. After a few minutes of kneading, the dough should be somewhat smooth, a little bit sticky, but that's okay. My bowl is fairly clean, not too many bitsies, so I'm just sticking it back in there, covering it, and letting it rest for about an hour in a warm place. After an hour, your dough should have risen to at least double in size. Punch it down, knead it some more, and cover it, and let it rise again. I know what you're thinking, this is taking forever. Well, good bread takes time, folks. Deal with it. Okay, after we wait until it's doubled in size again, go ahead and punch that down, remove the dough from the bowl, and divide it into two to four pieces. Or however many loaves you want, really. Just roll them into some nice long loaf shapes. There is some proper technique for this, but you guys know my style is casual probably driving some authentic French baker crazy out there. Sorry. Set the dough on a baking sheet prepared with parchment paper. Now get a lint-free cloth soaked in warm water and wring it out till it's mostly dry and cover the loaves lightly with it. Leave the dough in a warm place again and yep, we're waiting. They should double in size after 45 minutes to an hour. Now place a pan on the bottom rack of your oven and set the other rack in the middle. Preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 232 Celsius. Remove the cloth carefully from the dough. If the dough sticks to the cloth, just wet the cloth from above and it should release. Go ahead and make some slashes with a sharp knife across the top of your loaves. You can do diagonal slashes or one down the middle. It's up to you. When your oven is well heated, get a cup of water ready to pour into the baking pan that's already in the oven. Spray the tops of the dough with water, then place the tray on that middle rack Pour the water into the hot baking pan underneath and close that oven door quickly. There will be steam, so be careful. Now we wait for 25 more minutes for this bread to be baked to crusty perfection. Finally, remove the loaves from the oven and let them cool on a rack like this. And that's it. Not a lot of actual work, but kind of a lot of waiting around. So worth it though. Let the bread cool for at least a half an hour before slicing. I know, so difficult. But I don't want you to burn yourself. Use a good serrated bread knife to slice thick pieces of crusty French bread. The inside is super soft and fluffy. Just look at that fluffiness. Now eat that fluffiness. Now spread some cultured hemp cheese on that. Or some earth balanced buttery spread. That's the best. Thank you so much for watching this. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really helps me out when you do. Tomorrow, I'll be showing you how to make Rejuvelac, the easy probiotic you can make at home and the key to making amazing cultured vegan cheese that can rival the dairy stuff. Bye for now!